sorry, this presentation is especially for all of you who weren't able to get into my classroom on the first day of school. I want to apologize for that and just let you know that I'm working on making my classroom as easy to navigate as possible. So that's why I'm starting these lecture videos. And these lecture videos will be accessible to you for every class. They won't be on Wednesdays because you should know what to do on Wednesdays and I'll just put a little assignment thing in there for you. But the lecture videos will be there the other two days of the week and that should explain everything for you even if you miss that day for any reason or are a little bit behind. You should have everything that you need in these lecture videos and then what we will use our Zoom time for is for I will be there the whole time if you have questions or need help I will answer and you just put your question in the chat and I will do my best to help with it I'm getting better at the zoom stuff now we're working on it yay so welcome we're gonna skip through this because it's what we use at the beginning okay so this is what you're going to be doing uh, today if you missed the class. Now there are a couple things that you're not actually going to do. We're just going to go over the basics here in this lecture uh, because we already talked, we, are, we, we didn't get a chance to do the would you rather in class here. So we're going to skip to the course overview. Uh, you are going to read the syllabus and sign the acknowledgement in Schoology and then you're going to make a copy of the process journal and share it with me and then you're going to watch a tutorial for photof.p.com if you choose to do so. So that's going to be the breakdown. If you, you have kind of two ways of watching these lectures, which I will try to keep as brief as possible. The first way is to just watch it all the way through and see everything that you have to do for that day. If you are that kind of a learner, go for it. But if you're a person that wants to break it up and can only do one thing at a time, that's great. You just have to pause it and then keep coming back to it. So here we're going to start. I'm going to go past this here. So these are your objectives for the day, which I actually just shared with you. The three main things that we're doing today. If you're seeing any of this terminology as you go, so when you're reading through some of the stuff that you have to do today or look at today, um, this is here for you to be aware of what these things are. So Process Journal is an artist tool for documenting art making process. It's something that we're going to put a lot of stuff in. So it's not just for drawings or final drawings or sketches. It's, it's for reflecting and for lots of stuff. <laughs> uh, and photop.com is a fake Photoshop. And then the last four on the list here, MYBR's rubric, the digital learning design cycle, and IB Learner profile are all part of the IB Learner um, knowledge, the, I, the IB knowledge. So we'll go over those in greater detail as our projects uh, progress throughout the semester. But those will be in your syllabus, those uh, things there. If you needed to know what they were while you were reading it, you can refer back to this. So I just want to make you aware that there are only two things this semester that you're going to actually be graded on. So you have I do best fit grading and you'll read a little bit more about that in the syllabus. But basically I will give you the entire semester to earn your grade and you will have a process journal, this digital process journal that you are uh, copying and sharing with me today that will house all of the stuff that you do in this class so you want to document as much as possible take pictures take videos whatever you need to and then these are shared with me just me you do have to share some stuff in class we'll do we will do critiques that is a big thing that we do when we're in class and we're going to practice critiquing and sharing artwork with others We'll start with a uh, whole class silent critiques, or um, which will be kind of a non-threatening way to get to know each other and artwork. And then we'll work up to going into small groups and making sure that cameras are on so that we can, you know, look somebody in the eyes when we're talking to them about their artwork. And then by the end of the semester, if we could do just one 
or two big class critiques that would make me really happy. I don't know how that will go on Zoom. In, in our regular classes, it always goes very well. So we'll see. We're going to work our way up to that. So that's kind of what you can expect of me. Uh, so your first task is to go read the syllabus in Schoology in today's folder and then go to the discussion and sign the social contract. And if you are pacing yourself, you can pause here. Otherwise, we are going to move on to the next slide. All right, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the process journal and why it's so important in this class. And this is the history of the little process journal history trivia for you, if you will. Uh, so for you, you'll be working on different skills. So like, let's say you'll be uh, drawing a self-portrait. So you may need to work on a drawing of a nose three or four times before you get it right. And you can take a picture of that and put it into your process journal and show that you were working on skills. You can reflect, so you can either type out your answers in your process journal in the reflection section uh, every time I give you a new set of reflections or you can write it out nicely in your journal making sure that I can read the photograph that you take and then take that and put the photo into your process journal. So any kind of exploration you do with materials, uh, that'll all be used for it. So here's some examples of process journal work, things that other students have done to experiment with different things. I have students practice blending colors. We'll use, like this student here was using an alcohol-based marker and they're really fun to blend together. And then they were also practicing with colored pencil and they did these color swatches based on the towel the person has. And, that's kind of a cool way to practice color swatching. Um, so you can use whatever you like. If when we're in class, obviously we have more materials to try, but get creative with it around your house, okay? Find some interesting things. And you will be getting supplies soon, so you'll at least have those to experiment with. If you're a person that's like, I've never even tried watercolor before, sweet. You're gonna try watercolor this year and you will at least have an opinion about it. Even if you don't like it, that's okay. I actually, I, I have, uh, it's funny because I did not like watercolor until I was an adult. Even as a teenager, it just frustrated me because it's so unpredictable. So it's okay if you're still afraid of watercolor. I liked my acrylics and my tempera paints, things that I can control more. But hey, maybe it's because no teacher ever made me use watercolor, so, <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. I got a little sidetracked from that. All right, so you can write about anything in your journal. Um, we're going to be doing bi-weekly check-ins, and then eventually at some point in the semester, I'll try to be doing like five, because usually I'll do sit-downs with students for five or ten minutes each and let you know um, like nine, you know, halfway through the semester what your grade is and where you stand and on the rubric. And so I'm going to try to work that out with Zoom this semester. So you'll have to just kind of stand by and wait for how I do that. Uh, here's some more examples of using what you got. So maybe you have some old broken things around your house that you can kind of find and tie together and make into something interesting. Or you can use, you know, these are just marker and watercolor. You can use these materials and find just tiny little pieces of paper, you know, draw things. More examples here. We're going to do some contour drawing stuff. Like I said, self-portraits, illustrations, collage, uh, sort of like spontaneous drawing. I'll explain more when we get to that point. We'll do Keith Herring themed drawing. This student I love in the middle, they made this collage of stuff that they found in their house mixed with um, the cranes and then little like um, papers that they used to fold their stuff with. Um, perspective drawing, you'll have the opportunity or the chance to do that if you want to. 
Uh, here's a few more here. So you can look at these more if you want to in today's presentation, but I am going to move on and let you know that this is your process journal assignment and it can be found in today's presentation. You could pause it here if you wanted to just pause it and go do this. And I'm going to move on to the next slide. All right, so the last thing you're gonna do today is just play around with photop.com. So right here, um, I am actually going to zip through these these uh, these ones fast because you can learn them in, you can either pull up the slides yourself if you want to uh, and go through those, some of those pictures um, or you can use, you can, well you're going to have to still go through the tutorial but if you want to just learn how to jump on photop.com you can start with those slides and then you're going to want to finish with the tutorial. Um, so play around with the functions of it and then what's going to happen is now uh, if you were in my class uh, the first day I did change the the digital collage or the expectations of the first process journal assignment that we're doing so you have the choice now of either choosing to use uh, photop.com and making a digital collage of 25 images that you took or, so these, here's some examples of past students that have done digital collages with some images that they took and some images that they didn't take. So you could use a mix of both. Um, or you can do the alternative assignment, which is the identity grid, and it's 20 um, boxes or, you know, 20 things on the paper, it's all kind of even, and, and it could be just things about you. It, can, it doesn't have to be words, so this is just one example that uh, they've given us to share. Uh, it can just be like, you know, photos or drawings that are representing something. So if you are not into this uh, digital art thing and you'd like the option to just draw, this is your other option, and you'll have all day today, uh, well, I'm sorry, all day Thursday, uh, and or and or Friday, whichever class you have, to work on this, and then we'll see where we are at the end of the hour. Uh, so this this is the choice that you have. Uh, we are going to share these with class, uh, like I said, in a silent critique. So this is what I uh, expected of everybody originally to do for Wednesday work, and now I'm just kind of like I'm making sure that everybody's up to date. So if you need anything after you've watched this presentation or during presentation, whatever, uh, message me, put it in the chat, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.